Today it's going to be really exciting. We're in Austria at Waffenhoek today. Could you let me know what you are bringing? No, it will be a surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa! Bist du deppert! We actually brought some glass here for us to shoot at. I truly have no clue what those guys will be shooting with. But of course, I have been closely following your YouTube channel, Waffenhof, and I have observed that you've really got quite an impressive and vast arsenal. Yes, quite a bit. <laughs> so you are specialists in weapons, weapon technology, and also historical weapons? Exactly. Indeed, this is certainly no tiny armory. Well, it's essentially just the fundamental business of the showrooms. Could you please let me know what you're intending to bring? No, it truly is going to be quite a surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what unfolds next. Honestly, I have absolutely no clue. Then I'd say... Let's do it. <laughs> yes, let's do that. We'll see. <laughs> We've now installed a pane here. In this instance, it's a high security Silotech pane. But they're up ahead already. There's Christoph. Ah, I see now. First off, we're going to give the iconic AK model a try, something that's likely familiar to, I guess, everyone. It's the most widespread assault rifle, 7.6239, especially when it comes to safety glass. So this is, I believe, the best for the start of the test, and then we'll step it up. Very good. All clear. Great. Go. Nothing came through, but let's check quickly. But it's not split off. That's all. We can definitely add a lot more to that. Every shot more or less in one spot. Got anything else? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. All right, there you have it right now. The next one. System 98, caliber 8657 IS. I brought special cartridges today. The B cartridge is a type of explosive ammo. Let's see what it does. It'll cause some trouble, I think. Let's take a look at what happened. Yes, indeed, it is not nearly as deep as I had initially expected. I would have thought that would hit harder, but it doesn't go that deep at all. That's just approximately two centimeter when you were hot. Yeah. So what now? Do you have anything else? Sure thing. <laughs> and that is, if I'm seeing this correctly, Alvi. Ouch. That really looks like a 50 caliber to me. To be continued. <laughs> okay. You're escalating quite quickly, my dear. Oh yeah. Uh, everything is just as it should be, perfectly in order. The Steyr HS50 M1, which is, in my personal opinion, the highest quality and generally the best caliber 50 rifle available on the market. That's already something different compared to the 8x57. The 50 BMG, it is well known, considered a standard in NATO too, so it's widely used and really truly packs a significant punch. You've got a big trunk, I can see. I believe so. Let's take a step back. It's going to be intense. <laughs> uh, yes, that was the first one. Should we send another? Had I known that, I would have brought a larger pain. Yes, we keep shooting.
<laughs> Let us take a closer look. Yes, indeed, the holes are getting bigger, but nothing's showing up yet. There you have it. We've already hit in that corner before. That's truly intensive. I mean, a 50 caliber is massive. Around 18,000 joules, we're in a whole different league here. Yeah. Yeah, cube, 50 caliber, you can't top that at all. It's the... Uh, um... Can we top that? Yes, yeah, sure. Caliber 50. I'll show you something. Did you come by truck? Yeah, <laughs> Zika. How's he gonna top a 50 cal? Ach, du liebes bisschen. Yeah, okay. Ich, yeah. <laughs> Should I help you carry that? That wouldn't be bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can always top it with the 14.5. Ich hab... Wow. This is a Russian PTRS 41. Caliber 14.5 of 114. They had it in the second. World War, it was a self-loader, semi-automatic with a five-round magazine. It's quite a different caliber, a different beast altogether. Still used today, to some extent. I see, you want to shoot straight through. Tja. We'll see. <laughs> Check out the difference. Maybe you can come a bit closer. You really need to see this. This caliber 50 is truly... Let's say it's quite massive, right? That's the 14.5 times 114. I'm intrigued. I'll start keeping an eye out, yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's always such a pleasure. Come on, let's take a look. Hasn't gone through yet, but it's clearly further along. Huge hole there. What do you reckon our speed was? Approximately 900, 950 at best. So please do the math yourself. I just quickly calculated it with a calculator. Should be around 26,000 joules. The caliber 50 BMG before it was 18,000 joules. So huge difference, but feel free to come closer. Look, I find it quite fascinating. We made a significant hole, but it didn't successfully go through. Please. Come around from the backside. You've now fired close to where we've already had caliber 50 on it. Nothing is going on in the very back, but it actually does go in much further indeed. Well, you can tell the energy from this thing is massive. I'd say, got any more ammo? One or two. Come on, let's add one. So, Christoph said, I should stay behind him for a bit. I'd feel something quite special there. I'm curious to see. Well, I stepped back a little bit. This is absolutely gigantic. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. It's so more intense. It's an energy. Oh boy, that is really quite something special, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's the reason. That's why I'm planning on going to get myself another relaxing massage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Dritter Schuss. Oh! Bist du teppert? <laughs> what a crazy pressure. <laughs> yeah. It's really intense. Let's go, let's see what happened. By the way, I believe such a test has never existed before. With an anti-tank rifle at bulletproof glass, I think that's never been done before. Now to my knowledge, that's the world's first. And I have no idea what happened, but we'll see in a moment. Look here, we have very intense impacts. Carefully observe the considerable energy present here. And now the all decisive moment. Come over here, come over here. The glass holds up, it's truly astonishing, incredibly strong and still super transparent. But right here, take a closer look at this projectile. Please check it out. And there we probably see the third shot. Was that the third? Third indeed, yes. As you can see, the pain has been significantly, well, divided into thirds, but there's no splintering. And? Yet, two thirds are finished. Yes, well, I really must say, Yes, so I gotta say yes. Cool, what you've brought us here. I was incredibly pleased to have had the opportunity to work with amazing companies like yours. It's always incredibly exciting. In my opinion, it significantly advances the industry because these realistic tests are extremely valuable, even if some people might not like to see it that way, but that's just how it is. I'm always up for it, so whenever, you know, I'm totally ready for it anytime you'd say. Feel free to check out Waffenhoff's channel as well. Especially if you're into the technology of weapons, you'll find something there. Christoph, thank you so much. I was pleased.
Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Servus, ciao. Tschüss.